So once you've felt that stability in tree pose, we've been holding a good long time, maybe getting some fire in the opposite glute, you'll exhale, bring the knee forward and then down. Spreading the toes wide, that can help with balance, re-engage the core, lifting up through the chest, and then we gently cup that opposite calf muscle with the foot. So we're not aiming for a very high tree here, we're keeping it low, just to re-engage those balance muscles. And if you are feeling pretty good here and you're feeling steady, you can introduce some arm movements. That's a great way to challenge the balance. Being as creative as you'd like. One more inhale. And then exhale, we'll release that left foot comes down. We'll step the feet a little wider now, take your time. If you have socks on or you're on a slippery floor, just be aware, sometimes having the feet a, a bit wider can feel unstable, so find a good space. The heels are in, the toes are out, hands can come to the hips as we sink down and inhale, rise up. Exhaling, sinking down, inhaling, rising up. So turning on the muscles of the legs, And the next time you come down, notice what's happening in your core and your abdominals. We want to engage navel toward the spine. Exhaling. Now we'll do this for five more breaths, but feel free to explore some creative expression. So maybe instead of up and down, you stay down and you explore side to side here. Maybe you want to just hold for five breaths. That's very energizing. <laughs> Maybe you want to stay right here with arms and legs long, just taking up space. So two more breaths, your choice. And exhale, we'll straighten, taking the hands back together, stepping the feet back together. And find either, again, maybe the wall, maybe a chair, something for stability, because we're gonna stretch out the quad. Okay, so where I am, I'm lucky the ceiling is pretty low. <laughs> so I can hold on to the ceiling if I need. You're gonna bring weight into one foot, Bend the opposite knee. We're trying to reach back for the ankle. So if you have a strap, you can use a strap. You can use your pants if, you're, if you can't readily grab the ankle, but something where you're stretching the quad. Another option is to take the shin to a chair and actually lay it along the seat of the chair. That can be helpful to stretch here. But just stretching the quad gently after warming up. Inhale, exhale, one more breath, inhale, and exhale, we'll release. Take your time to switch sides. If I'm moving at a faster or slower pace than your breath and you want to either add something else in, or you need to slow down and take more time to get yourself set up, please. Again, this is your practice. So we'll ground through the standing leg, bending that opposite knee, feeling the stretch in the quad on the opposite side to the front of the leg. In yoga, we focus so much on stretching the back of the leg and getting that deep hamstring stretch. Sometimes we forget the front of the leg. So this is a little front of the leg TLC. Full breath in. Full breath out. And exhale, we'll release. All right, we'll meet in a tabletop position. I'm gonna adjust the camera. Again, take the time you need.
Okay, great. All right, so from our tabletop position, we'll explore cat-cow here, dropping the navel, lifting the head, feeling the collarbones broaden, inhale, and exhale, rounding the spine, chin to the chest. Two more times, inhaling, lifting, feeling that expanse, and exhale, rounding. Inhaling, lifting, stretching the back of the body, feeling that openness in the chest, and exhale, rounding, pressing in between the shoulder blades, and exhale, we'll find a neutral spine. So core is engaged, we have a little bit of lift here, and we can explore sensation. If you gaze forward and let the shoulders really slump, you might notice that if the, if the arms are engaged, you might feel some slump in between the shoulders. And then we can feel the opposite when we're pressing into the hands, rounding the shoulders, and we wanna be somewhere in between where the arms are engaged, like you're squeezing a beach ball in between your inner upper arms, and you have some engagement in the back of the body. Core is drawing toward the spine, and we'll extend the left leg straight back behind. A little bit of balance. Awesome. Full inhale. Exhale, option to extend the right arm straight out in front of you. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, and then exhale, we'll release and drift over to the opposite side. Try that. So opposite side, opposite leg extends. You have all that engagement. You can reach that leg off of the floor. Maybe you stay right here. Glute is working. And then the left arm can lift if that's what your body's craving today. Inhale. And exhale, slowly release. Knee comes down, knees go wide, toes touch. And we sink the hips back toward the heels with the head come down to a natural place. Breathing in. Child's pose, exhaling, releasing, surrendering to gravity. Inhaling, expanding. Exhaling, releasing, surrendering to gravity. Now, if you are still feeling like you have a little bit of fire this morning and you wanna find downward facing dog, I'm not gonna stop you, I couldn't anyway. <laughs> but feel free, if you need a little bit more oomph in your practice today, you can take down dog. If you're feeling like you really need some nurturing, some relaxing, some soothing practice, then continue to breathe and child's pose. Three more breaths, inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. Taking all the time you need, coming forward, finding a belly down position, melting to the floor, the legs are long back behind you. And rest here for a moment in starfish pose. So the legs are wide, the arms are wide. The head is turned to one side. It's like you're giving the earth a big hug. <sighs> Notice as you inhale, the abdomen presses down into the mat, into the floor. And as you exhale, it rises away. <sighs> Inhaling, belly presses down. Exhaling, it rises away. Inhale. And exhale, we're gonna create a little 
pillow for the head with the arm. So just bringing one arm on top of the other, the forehead can come down to the hands. And from there, we'll extend the legs straight back, the tops of the feet are down, pressing down with the right foot, inhale and lift the left leg. And then exhale, release. And inhale, engage the right leg, lifting the right leg. So we're gonna do that side to side, lifting the left, lifting the right, nice and steady. But notice as you lift the leg, what muscles are turning on? Inhaling, lifting, exhaling, bringing the leg down. And notice, if you're feeling the glutes or the hamstring turn on first, Just the back of the leg. Okay. And we want to, on the next round, make sure that the glute is engaging and then the hamstring as we release and relax. So turning on glute, then hamstring as the leg lifts, we release and relax. Inhale one more time, lifting. This is great to strengthen the low back, so important. Inhale, lifting, and exhale. Now we're really gonna turn up the heat. We're gonna lift both legs and both arms, the head, the chest, the whole body lifts as high as you can go in this moment. So you know better than anyone how high that height's gonna be. Feel the core engage, inhale. And then exhale, releasing, relaxing. Opposite cheek comes down to the mat. Option to bend the knees and let the feet fall side to side in a windshield wiper motion. Exhale, releasing the legs long behind you. We'll take hands underneath the shoulders. We're not gonna bring a lot of weight into them yet. We're gonna press down with the tops of the feet, down with the legs as we inhale and lift the chest. Very gently, almost not lifting up at all. But we wanna feel the upper back engage. And then we exhale, we come down. Now on this second set, lift the hands with it. So you're coming up to your edge, using your strong back to come up as you know, high as possible for now. We're still, you know, we're warming up. Exhaling, melting down. Inhaling, rising. Exhaling, coming down. Exploring your height and your depth here. And if there's any variation you'd like to explore, maybe now you bring the hands down and you gently shift side to side, or maybe you wanna lift up and exhale, surrender. So we wanna find a mix of flexibility and strength building here. Option to stay here, taking the elbows out in front for Sphinx pose. Or if you want to take another few rounds of this, that Superman position where you're lifting your arms, your legs, your head and chest, that's also an option. Okay, so three more breaths, your pose, your practice. <sighs> One more deep inhale and exhaling, surrendering, coming down, releasing, relaxing. Rest here for a moment. And we'll roll over onto one side. So you decide what side of the body will roll over. 
onto your side and you can either use the arm as a pillow or you can grab your pillow here and throw that under your head. We're gonna line the ankles up with the hips. Knees are bent. Keeping the bottom knee on the floor, inhale and lift the top knee away from the bottom knee. Just enough so that you feel some engagement here, but not so high that the whole rest of the body starts to get involved. Really isolating glute, the glute medius. Okay, exhaling, inhaling. Exhaling nice and slow. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale, knees touch. Inhale, top knee lifts away from the bottom knee. Exhale. Bottom knee stays right where it is. Only the top knee is moving. Might start to feel a little fatiguing in that muscle. Continue to breathe. And exhale, we'll release, relax. Maybe bringing the knees up a little closer toward the chest so we have more of a 90 degree angle going in the legs now. Okay. We'll bring that bottom arm straight out in front of you. Resting the top hand on top of the bottom hand. And on the inhale, we'll slide the top palm away from the bottom palm so that the upper shoulder is retracting. And exhale, it comes forward. So it's a very gentle opening of that top shoulder as the top shoulder moves forward and backwards and the palms are just sliding along one another. Inhale, exhale. If you would like to explore here, taking some time for play, maybe you reach that arm up, and exhale, you can bring it forward. If you want to circle the arm around like a sundial. And exhale. Again, let yourself follow and be inspired by the breath. What wants to happen in the body for the next few breaths? <sighs> There's no right, there's no wrong. Just you in this moment. And before we switch sides, we'll straighten both legs. And we'll stretch that top leg. Maybe you start by bringing the knee toward the shoulder. Maybe this is like Whoa, hello. If you're feeling a lot of sensation, you can stay right here. If you would like to stretch more of the back of the leg, you can straighten the leg. You can use the hand here for stability if you'd like. Again, we're just exploring, stretching the leg. Full inhale. And then exhale. Both legs slowly return and we'll roll over to the opposite side. Now I can't do that because I want to look and talk to you. So I have to lift and switch, but you can just roll. We want very path of least resistance. <sighs> so we're starting with those clams again with the Feet in line with the hips, knees are bent, keeping the top knee on the floor, I'm sorry, keeping the bottom knee on the floor, lift the top knee ever so slightly away from the bottom knee and exhale, they come back down to touch. 
Inhaling, lifting that top knee. Exhaling, that knee returns. Inhale, lift ever so slightly. Exhale, the knees touch. Keep going, following the breath. Keeping the sensation strictly in the side of the hip, side of the glute. We're keeping the rest of the body out of it. Isolating glute need. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And for some of us, I'm definitely included in this, one side will be a totally different experience than the other side. It's like you got your power side and then you're, you know, then the one that's like, what have you been doing all my life? Sleeping? I don't know. Inhaling. Exhaling. Two more. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> All right, let's bring both knees up a little closer toward the chest. You have the support of the pillow or your arm here. Wait, that's not true because we're about to extend the arm. So hopefully you have your pillow. All right, that bottom arm is straight out, taking the top arm, putting both palms on top of one another, and then inhale, Retracting that top shoulder so the palm is sliding away and exhale, the palms come back together, fingers touch, shoulder comes forward. Inhale, sliding the shoulder back. Exhaling, palms touch and come forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And give yourself time and space to explore any other movement that the body is craving. You can go up toward the sky or around in a circle, or maybe there's something else. You know, I'm just offering things. You pick what you want off the potluck, as my former teacher Jessica Jolly would say. <sighs> Last breath here. <sighs> now we'll straighten both legs once more to feel some stretching in the hips and the leg. So maybe you start by bringing that top knee up toward the shoulder and you can explore here. You can hold here, maybe shifting more toward the back or more forward. If you want more of a stretch in the leg and the, sometimes this can shift from hamstrings to the abductors Doctors, I'm having a moment. But you see where the sensation is, breathing through the sensation, and exhaling when you're ready, releasing. And we'll meet on the back. Again, taking the time you need. We'll remove the pillow. Sometimes, you know, we, we, we love pillows, we rely on pillows, and sometimes we really need them. But for the yoga practice, it's important to try to get a sense of um, lengthening here and really allowing the neck muscles to release and relax on the floor. So again, you know your body and your practice better, but I, I definitely encourage you to try this without a pillow. We'll bring the right knee in toward the chest, extending the left leg long for Apanasana pose. Full inhale, long, slow exhale. Full breath in, 
And then exhale, we'll switch sides, bringing the left knee in and extending the right leg long along the mat. Left knee comes in. You can press the fingers into one another to help build strength in the hands. And then exhale, bringing both knees back in, giving yourself a big hug. Knees can come in toward the chest. Maybe you grab opposite elbow, maybe hands are on the knees. Inhale. Now exhale, we'll ground the left foot and we'll extend the right leg straight up toward the sky. So we're feeling some stretch behind the leg is, is, my, is my hope. Now, if today this for you looks like, a, uh, if, if you have a lot of sensation here and you need to bend the knee considerably, that's fine, okay? Again, your practice, if you're not feeling much and you wanna experiment with bringing the head toward the knee, you can try that. Some people that helps. Spending a little bit of time just stretching the back of the leg. Full inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, engage the leg. So we're really flexing the foot. And again, that could shift where your leg is in space. That's okay. Okay, maybe this really brings a lot of sensation in the calf. You can stay there, breathe. But sometimes when we engage the muscle, it's easier or we feel a more productive stretch. And then exhale, we'll release, bringing that left foot down. We'll try the same thing on the opposite side. So extending that leg. And again, exploring, right? You can. Flex the foot if that was pretty productive on the other side to start with. Maybe that's just the calf muscle sensation. Maybe that's starting to shift into the hamstring. We're exploring the gradient here. And yoga, it's, you know, we say a lot, it's like that travel saying, it's about the journey, not the destination. And that's definitely true, especially with more exploratory, gentle yoga practices. We want to feel into it. We really want to connect with the more subtle sensations of the body. We'll take two more breaths. If it worked on that first side for you to engage the leg and really use that strength to help explore some new space in your stretch. And then exhale, we'll take the left ankle to the right knee. So setting up for a reclined pigeon. First pit stop, left hand to the left knee. Maybe you press the left knee away. That could be your edge this morning. For more sensation, you can bring both knees toward your chest. Option to hold underneath the right leg. Okay, so that's all optional. Notice the left hip. Close the eyes. Let your awareness drift toward the left hip. Like you could send your gaze down into your left hip and see what's going on in there. Full breath in. Long, slow breath out. And exhale. Left foot comes down. We'll switch sides. Right ankle to left knee. Maybe we, maybe we start by pressing the knee away. And this could be your edge this morning. If you're craving more sensation, this, knee, this hip could be a totally different experience. You can bring both knees in toward the chest.
feel the right hip. Imagine you could send your gaze into the right hip. Two more breaths. And exhale, we'll release. We'll take the next 20 breaths, okay? For the pose of your choice. So if you do wanna take legs up the wall, go right ahead, okay? This is a really good time I love restorative yoga and, you know, because of the, the lockdown situation right now, it's a really good time to practice restorative yoga. So using the props that you need, using the wall, bringing your legs to the wall. If you don't have a wall nearby, you can bring a pillow underneath your hips, low back where they connect and extend the legs up. Similar effects or if there's something else your body is craving if there's one last pose you just need to do before shavasana go right ahead okay, this is your time full inhale Long, slow exhale. Ten more breaths. Plenty of time. Allowing the breath to be natural. You don't have to change or force anything. You're just breathing and your own natural pace as the body can start to relax. When you feel complete, we'll meet in Shavasana, corpse pose, laying down on the back, totally relaxed. Now here you can use as many props as you'd like. You can use a pillow under the head, maybe pillows under the knees. If there's some other position, I know um, for some people this one's really nice. <clears throat> having pillows under the knees as the knees come out. That might feel particularly good. You can cover your eyes maybe with the sleeve of a sweatshirt or if you have an eye pillow at home. We will be here for about eight minutes. So you can use a blanket like a blanket. And I'll lead you through a guided meditation. Once you're cozy in your Shavasana pose. I just make I just turned the camera to see if everybody was comfortable and that dog was very cute. <laughs> oh, all right.
So Shavasana, admittedly, is my favorite pose. <laughs> and even though it's, it's, it's such a simple thing to lie down, there really is something magical about closing the practice, feeling the sense of very deliberate relaxation. So find that pose where you feel like the world can just melt away. Let the eyes close and just return to the breath. Notice the breath moving spontaneously in and out of the body without any thought or effort from you. It just happens. Sending gratitude to the breath. This is a great time to develop a pranayama practice or a breathing practice if you're interested in pranayama at all. I'll lead you through one very gentle pranayama. We'll, where we'll visualize breath coming down the left side of the body and away from the left side of the body. Breathing in, see the breath on the right side of the body and leaving the right side of the body. Breathing to the left and away from the left. Breathing into the right and away from the right. Breathing left Breathing right See the breath Move side to side. At your own pace. For five more breaths. Focus on the breath and turn your awareness to the sensations of the body in this moment. Scan through the body, starting at the head. Feel your head heavy resting on the floor. Feel your shoulders heavy, surrendering to gravity. Feel the length of your arms, both hands, each one of your fingers, the span of your back, abdomen, 
And gently shifting, changing with the breath. Notice sensation in the hips. And the tops and backs of the legs. Notice sensation at the feet. at each one of your toes. Feel your whole body. One entity working together for you. Sending gratitude down into every cell of your body, working to keep you supported and healthy. Body relaxed, breath natural. Shift awareness to the mind. Reflecting on your current mood and observing the patterns of thought that might be bubbling up. Noticing if there are any thoughts that are arising. And if there are, are these thoughts about the future, about the past, about the present. There's no right or wrong. We're simply observing, noticing what the content of the thoughts are in this moment. Take 10 final breaths in Shavasana. After your 10th breath, waking up in the way that feels most natural for you, when you're ready, 
not a moment before, we'll meet in a comfortable seated position. 